This is part of one of my favorite stories called The Little Gingerbread Man. Once upon a time, there was an old woman who loved baking gingerbread. She would bake gingerbread cookies, cakes, houses, and gingerbread people, all decorated with chocolate and peppermint, caramel candies, and colored frosting. She lived with her husband on a farm at the edge of town. The sweet, spicy smell of gingerbread brought children skipping and running to see what would be offered that day. Unfortunately, the children gobbled up the treats so fast that the old woman had a hard time keeping her supply of flour and spices to continue making the batches of gingerbread. Sometimes she suspected little hands of having reached through her kitchen window because gingerbread pieces and cookies would disappear. One time a whole gingerbread house vanished mysteriously. She told her husband, Those naughty children are at it again. They don't understand. All they have to do is knock on the door and I'll give them my gingerbread treats. One day she made a special batch of gingerbread men because they were extra big. Unfortunately, for the last gingerbread man, she ran out of batter and he was half the size of the others. She decorated the gingerbread men with care, each having socks, shirts, and pants of different colors. When it came to the little gingerbread man, man, she felt sorry for him and gave him more color than the others. It doesn't matter he's small, she thought. He'll still be tasty. Putting the rack on the kitchen windowsill, she left it there to cool and went to finish her laundry. The gingerbread men lay quietly, their frosted eyes gazing at the sky with its puffy clouds. At that moment, a voice came from nowhere. Get up! Get up! Come with me! Everyone looked to see who was speaking. It was a butterfly flying outside just the window. Butterflies are naturally beautiful, but her wings were an exceptionally pretty marble blue. Come with me! She urged again. The gingerbread men didn't react except to keep staring. All but the smallest gingerbread man who jumped up from the tray and leaped off the kitchen window still on the, onto the grass below faster than you could say, hurry. Where are we going? He asked breathlessly. Away. And before the butterfly had finished speaking, children appeared in the yard. Spying the little gingerbread man, they started shrieking with delight and began chasing him. Stop, stop, they shouted. We want to eat you. But with his little legs turning, the gingerbread man only ran faster. He yelled, I won't stop. Run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. And truly, those children could not catch him. Once out of their sight, he continued running until he had reached a pasture where two horses were grazing. He sat down on a rock near the fence. Don't stop, said the butterfly fluttering nearby. I want to rest, he argued. That was a mistake, as one of the horses trotted over to the fence and whinnied. Oh, you smell so good, little gingerbread man. Come over here so I can smell you better. The little gingerbread man shook his head, but suddenly that horse jumped the fence and began galloping after him. So he had to run even faster. He called out, I outran children, and I'll outrun you. Run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. So that's part of your story for you. Thank you for listening.